everyone. This is Chelsea from Paper Octio Studio. Welcome to a new year of Artsy Second Sunday Video Hop. Make sure that you go down below the video after mine is complete and hop through the rest of the links to see all the rest of the free content by other YouTube artists with the same theme. It's a loose theme. Um, the themes this time that we could pick from were Snow People, winter and mittens i believe i believe those were what they were and as soon as i heard mittens all i could think about was kittens and mittens you know the three little kittens they lost their mittens and couldn't find where to find them leave them alone and they'll come home dragging the tails behind them you know that little nursery rhyme or whatever that's all i could think about with mittens just kittens and mittens I do follow on Instagram a person named Terry Runyon who is a illustrator and I believe she does mindfulness in art classes and just she sells art on Etsy and she's got different things like t-shirts and and tote bags and uh, prints and she just she makes a lot of illustrations of cats and they're very simple shapes. They're not overly fussy. You know, I, I tend to get overly fussy myself when I illustrate. I want to make all the little details. I want to make everything perfect. But her illustrations are loose and fun, and they have a lot of personality. And so I decided to try to do something like that. Um, loose shapes, quick illustrations that look like cats so that I could put mittens on them, uh, but not anything super fussy. So I got out some different scraps of painty paper because, you know, I'm, I'm predominantly a, a collage artist, uh, mixed media and collage. So I'm doing my little illustrations of my three little kittens on these scraps. One of them is rice paper, one of them is deli paper, and another one is a magazine ad that has been sanded with a, a stencil underneath. So they've got a little bit of pattern and color, and I'm looking for colors that cats might be, right? <laughs> I don't have any cats. I think they are adorable and they are full of personality. I would love to have one, but I'm just really super allergic to them, and I get asthma when I have them and when I'm around them. So I don't have cats. I do have a wonderful little uh, Pomchi rescue dog, and I'm not allergic to her. So I'm lucky there because I went without any pets for the longest time uh, after I got severe asthma as a teenager. And I did look for a dog that was uh, hyperallergenic, but my dog is, is not bred for that. She just happens to, I just happen to not be allergic to her. I cuddle her. She sleeps with us. It's no problem. But cats, I just can't be around them. It's so sad because they're funny. They're, I love cat videos and, you know, so I cut out my little cats, I set them aside, and then I'm dealing with my background. I started out, this, this is my junk journal. So this paper is junk, people. It's junk. <laughs> it's like leftover stuff that was on my desk. And this happens to be kind of like printer paper that I glued two sheets together folded it in half and sewed it in my book. So I first put on a coat of watercolor ground and it's white. It's from Golden. And the idea of watercolor ground is to make some type of junky paper into something that's absorbent that you would use for watercolor. It worked pretty well, actually. I did cover up some of the pattern that was on the paper because I glued, I glued the printed sides together so that I wouldn't have any running because they were printed with um, inkjet printer, which is going to react to water. So uh, I wanted thicker paper, so I glued the two pieces of printer paper with their print sides together before I folded it and sewed it in. And so I used my uh, watercolor that is mixed with ink, um, the shadow watercolors to start with, and then I used a couple different, I used a, um, a, a turquoise color and then like a lighter teal color to kind of make a 
a background. Oh, before I did all that, after the watercolor ground was dry, I used a stencil and put some uh, gloss gel medium through the stencil. It's like a stencil that has different shapes of circles on it to try to give uh, maybe stars or snowflakes in the background. And of course, because gloss medium is resistant, it it gives that pattern without me having to paint every little you know, circle on there. So I did that first and those two were dry. Then I put the watercolor on. So now this page is in a journal. I'm not be, being concerned about sealing it. You know, the, the watercolor is reactive to water, obviously, because it's watercolor. So if it was an actual painting, I would either put it in a frame or I would seal it. But um, of course, putting sealer onto watercolor does change the color of it. I don't know if you guys know that. It makes it darker. So you don't really want to do that. So usually if you're going to paint a watercolor, you would frame it afterwards. But since this is a journal, and in fact it's a junk journal, it's not. I'm not worrying about it, right? I'm just doing what I want to do. I'm putting on that watery, swishy background. Then I'm gluing my pieces of collage painty paper over the top with my illustrations on there. And then I'm cutting out more bits of paper, or in some cases tearing, on the black background kitty, I wanted to make it one of those black and gray stripey kitties. And so I had a piece, a scrap of, uh, I believe that's security envelope actually, <laughs> with the black stripes on there. And I tore them and made some stripes on my kitty. And then I took a bit of a dark red scrap of deli paper and cut out some mittens and a scarf. And I put the mittens, um, this kitty needs two pair <laughs> because she has a mitten on every foot to keep her warm in the snow. Obviously on the bottom there, I didn't put any watercolor and I left it white so that it looks like a snowy ground before I glued my kitties on. I am using uh, Yoohoo glue stick to glue everything down. I'm not... Um, worried about medium, you know, putting some matte medium on there and sealing it and putting some over the top and the bottom and everywhere to make sure that it's stuck. Uh, this this Yoohoo glue stick for a journal is fine. Remember, this is just going to be closed, right? So no worries about that. Uh, I did use a little bit of uh, fluid medium here to put on some bits of napkin with something as thin as napkin or, napkin or tissue. Uh, a fluid medium is your best choice. Then I've got some white gesso here. Um, this one is a tabby cat. So it started out with kind of a gold piece of painty paper. Then I put this rusty brown spots on there. And then I went and grabbed my Neocolor 2 water-soluble crayons and I'm applying them directly to this third piece of painty paper because I want it to be a calico cat. When I was very small, before I really started to get super allergic to cats, we had a calico cat named Patches. And this is what she looked like. She had yellow and orange and brown and black spots all over her. And uh, she even had some baby kittens in my bed one night by my feet and when I woke up there was like all these squirmy little things <laughs> down underneath the, the covers by my feet um, she'd had her babies but um, we had to get rid of her because I mean we had to give her away to someone who wanted her we didn't get rid of her uh, when I got very ill when I hit about age 12 so the calico kitty has a green um scarf on and she has green eyes green mittens and I'm I used a, pe a scrap of paper that was had some dark green paint on it it's actually craft paper but has dark green paint on it and then I used the water soluble crayon to draw the stripes and I even gave this kitty a little uh, stocking hat with a pom pom on top I think this one on the far right the calico cat is the funniest one. I think I think it's very funny. It's better than the other two. But <laughs> you know, you never know what you're gonna get. I mean, you just you're just drawing some illustrations and see what comes out. And I just I think that that one is hilarious. It almost looks grumpy, 
I think it's a I think it's a boy cat. It looks probably looks a little bit grumpy, but hilarious though. So then to finish up with my illustrations, I'm using my India ink pen. This is a brush pen by Pentel called uh, Pentel Pocket Brush. It's a permanent ink. And then also my white Posca pen. This is a fine tip Posca pen. has a cr white acrylic ink in it. And I'm adding in my highlights and shadows, detail lines. So for the middle kitty, I decided that what she needed was fluorescent pink scarf. So I've got a couple layers. She's got the scarf wrapped all around her neck. And then uh, her mittens are not on her feet. They're on her ears. <laughs> because I thought that was funny. I don't know. I mean, your ears get cold, right? So maybe you don't care so much about your paws. Maybe you care more about your ears. So she put her little pink mittens up on her ears. Of course, according to the the nursery rhyme, all these kittens are going to lose their mittens, which will be very sad, and they're going to cry to their mom, run home and cry to their mom about lost mittens. But right now they've all got their mittens, and they're ready to go out and play in the snow. Um, when I'm making this video, it doesn't come out till later, but when I'm making it, all my friends in the Pacific Northwest are freezing their booties off. There's been tons of snow and it's windy and it's like below, way below freezing in places that don't usually get that cold. So that's kind of, that informed my snowy, cold, mitten wearing kitten situation here. So more adding in uh, lines, highlight shadows, whiskers, fixing up their eyeballs. Then I got out a little bit of this metallic watercolor and I used the pearly white one on the snow to make it a sparkle a little bit like snow does. And I put some little splatters of that sparkly color. I know on the video you can't see it, but it's shimmery and shiny. And um, that's kind of the way snow is to me. And then I was just kind of thinking about the new year and I decided to put Happy New Year on there. So I got out some stamps. This is an older set that's been retired from Stampin' Up. I'm sure that you can find it on eBay still because people are constantly selling their retired stamps on there. So um, you'll probably find something like this or you can use any stamp set. It's just this, I think this one is cute. So I use it quite frequently. I stamped that with VersaFine Claire which is a fast drying pigment ink. I made sure it was super dry with my heat tool, cut it out and glued that on the page as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment or a question below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notification bells if you haven't already. Um, I do have a new membership program and you can join my membership uh, for $1.99 a month and get exclusive content. So that is it for me. Go ahead and hop, hop, hop to the next person and give them your love. Thanks. Bye-bye.